<gasps> Is that Gabby Gabe? <gasps> Is that Gabby Gabe? Is that Gabby Gabe? Is that Gabe? Is that Gabby Gabe? We got hungry and we hungry shopped and we got a bunch of ingredients to make a sandwich. Gabby's got baking control. He's on the watchtower. I'm manager. Mm. Mm. Potato chips, red onion, chipotle mayo, barbecue sauce, bacon. Bro, I'm about to mush this thing together. The only noise I'll make is like, maybe that. Silently over here, enjoying. <laughs> no, that's your good. How are you just sitting there recording yourself eating in silence? This is so good. Lex eats more than I've ever seen anyone eat. Yeah, no, lately. Yeah, like literally at 3 a.m. I'm like, can you please come to bed? Like, I want to cuddle sleep and go to sleep. Me. And he's like, no, I gotta go make some bee. <laughs> and then he goes downstairs. Oh, yeah, Half no. the time, the fucking smoke alarm goes off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like that rat that bird. Was it a rat? Yeah, it's like in me at night and you're just eating food. You ever see that? You know what I'm talking about? I'll put it on the screen. Every time I have a meal at night, I text Gabe, like, you eating? Like, you eat today? Yeah, bro, and I'll literally, I'll be in bed, half asleep with one eye open, and then he broke guilt trips me. I wake up, make a whole ass <laughs> fucking yeah. four course meal. Number 19, mouse in baked beans. Our girlfriends are just completing and, like, begging us to come to bed, and we're just fucking starving. Like, and we don't even want to do it either. Like, we want to come to bed and cuddle, but we yeah. basically can't, like, stop eating food. Sandwich, fry do. That, that T bone steak Bro. sandwich. Hold on. Big bite. Why did you guys eat it like that? Like what? Like sideways sandwich. Because you gotta, you gotta, like, think of it like it's a girl. You gotta make out with what? it. When you make out with a girl, you don't just go mm, straight in like that. You gotta twist it a little bit. You gotta get into, you gotta get intimate with that sandwich. You guys, that sandwich you just ate was like, <laughs> <laughs> like bro, he was over there for fucking twenty minutes. <laughs> Silent. <laughs> He's silent, just laughing to himself. <laughs> He's officially lost it, bro. <laughs> I see extra protein on that plate. There you go. Uh huh. I'm back and didn't eat anything. <laughs> That's solid. All right, we're trying to figure out what pre-workout we, we want to take because we're not like how we used to be. We're on, we're on that old timer shit. Last time I went for my 410 bench. It's kind of sad, but me and Gabe have gotten to the point where this is a scary pre-workout now. Obviously, I mean, no, it is. It's justifiably a scary, scary pre-workout, like, of course, but, you know, it doesn't have, like, DMA in it or anything like that. Dude, literally, like... Well, like all right, this is a, all right, this is actually just straight up just a scary free, but it doesn't have DMA. Yeah. We're on our way to the gym. Just got my tire filled. Yeah, I have a nail in my tire still, all right? What the f are you gonna do about it? I've been using literally a bike pump to fill it up. I know, guys, I'm irresponsible, I'm lazy. I'm a sack of sh Me and Gabe are gonna deadlift. I don't, now, uh, listen, I'm not going for a PR. There's no way. I, the odds of me hitting a PR today are one in probably 160. We were just talking about how like my car for some reason always gets a flat tire. I have really bad luck with like just getting nails in my tire and shit. My last tires are just blew up. So it's funny because I don't really mind when it has a flat tire because I know the Hellcat engine is just done. Especially, I mean, it's a red eye too. So I don't really drive it too often because it's, it's always just sitting there and I don't drive it. I started up keep it healthy or whatnot. And I got my car with 2,700 or something miles on it. And that was two over two years ago now, and it's at 11,700. So I've driven my car like almost 10,000 miles in two years, which is like insane. And me and Gabe were talking about how if I sold it, people would be like, 
oh wow, like this car only, has, this Hellcat only has, I don't even know if, I don't think I'd sell it, but oh wow, this Hellcat, oh, there's no way, it only has like 15,000 miles, 10,000 miles. But like little do they know, bro, those 10,000 or 15,000 miles were just the absolute utmost, just abusive like parenting of a car you could a ever have for a Hellcat. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Harrison. <laughs> I think it's a good sign when he falls. Update, we're gonna go get sushi and head back at my house because this is just a failed lift. This is just a big ass fail. We're, we're retiring. Me and me and bro are just gonna become fucking, Gabe's gonna become an incline bench specialist, so I'm gonna become a flat bench specialist and we're never gonna squat or deadlift ever again. That big ass sandwich did nothing, bro. Yeah, I know. What the fuck? We hounded down all that food to go. I don't know why we do this. We should have just trained in my house, bro. Yeah. I, I don't, every time, every time we're at home and then we go somewhere, we're like, mm, we should have just worked out at the home bro, gym. The workouts at the home gym are awesome. We're back for redemption! We will not be defeated today! And we won't be defeated anytime soon! We're back, baby!
to redeem. Damn, that's dark. Hold on. We managed to somewhat redeem the failed deadlift session. Um, yeah. Like that, I don't Bro, know. Bro, that sandwich mukbang literally just sent us over the edge. We actually turned morbidly obese overnight from those carbs. I literally thought it was going to be like ridiculously. I thought it was there. We thought we were going to be big, just... strong, full, just weak as shit, flat, watery, no f***ing pump shit. Literally. Shit! That's all right. I mean, I'm embracing the bulk. I'm okay with it, you know, but if I'm going to be the muffin man, I better be f***ing strong. Yeah. And I wasn't. Oh, yeah. It's, it's yeah. just, it's like a double whammy of depression. So basically, we're talking about how like each gym has their own like I guess you could say like spirit, right? And it's like you walk into the gym and you can tell like like Muscle Factor, you walk around and you're like yeah I can tell like there's been some like scary figures in here like definitely some like 800 pound deadlifts like you know like when you come in here it's like a small space but you you know like some shit has gone down in here like like there's just a certain like there might be a fucking testosterone grim reaper like hovering this gym that yeah. just like. When you get in here, he touches you without you knowing, and then you for so, dude, we got like such a crazy dopamine surge when that first song started. Going, wanna, 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 wanna. Really, ah! I literally turned. I was more hyped for a set of lat pull downs than I was that whole deadlift session, bro. Bro, <laughs> I was done. I thought I could do it again, and my adrenaline wore off, and now I don't feel like I can do it. Oh shit! Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Like three times. Every step that I take fucking hurts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. I'm so cold. Hey, bro, I lost a toe in there. <laughs> oh, wait. It was my penis. <laughs> I, I, I can't even feel mine anymore, bro. My God, it's gone, bro. <laughs> Why was it that? I don't know. Bro. I'm wondering the same thing. That literally has to be like five degrees. Bro, bro, bro me and Gabe were looking like, like me and Gabe were looking like, yeah, like it's probably pretty cool. Because I jumped in earlier by myself, and then I was like, and I got, and I, when I and I hit the water, I started going, <laughs> and they're like, and they're like. Exaggerating that shit, yeah. bro. I think that was the coldest fucking thing I've ever been in. I don't know life. why. I don't. I feel like in the sauna. It, I think it's because we've been in here. Yeah, but I feel like it'd make it the opposite. I feel like wouldn't it? Wouldn't it like be like really like? I feel like just because we're so like used to that. Like I feel like if if we were at like a baseline like cold already, and then we got in, like yeah. I feel like we'd be warm. I want to have some facial hair when I'm on a bulk, bro. Like I'm not trying to like. Like hey, bro, go back to that pretty boy. Like like the. You mean pretty boy? I'm 210 pounds, hey bro. Let me be, hey, go back to that pretty boy. Like, yeah, I'd look real good if I shaved it. I'd look real good. Like, bro, I lost. Like, I'm not gonna be pretty till I get back down at like 200 flat. Yeah, blow goat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. That's what I'm, like, I'm trying to actually just be disgusting. Like, I'm not even like being pretty. Like, yeah, you gotta embrace. Yeah, it. yeah, no, I am. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, or else you're gonna hey, hold back. Yep, exactly. I'm embracing it. I'm like, hey, bro. Like, you know what? I'm gonna be ugly as. <laughs> I'm gonna be ugly. I'm gonna be fat. You know, I'm devoting myself to gains. Hey man, I just can't seem to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, how much do you weigh? Like, how much do you weigh? Uh, like two, two fifteen. I'm, I'm like, I got like, I got my weight up a little more. I got it back up a little bit. I was down, bro. I was like two oh nine. You're about to catch my show. I was like, let me, let me just bump it up real quick. Yeah, I'm, I'm, at, I'm at six three, so I can just do that if I'm, I need to. I'm two hundred ten. Hey, you almost caught me. Done? I'm going full morbid mode. Hey, what happens when it's morbid time? What happens when I fucking touch 225 though? I'm getting up there. <laughs> you gotta stop it, nah, bro. <laughs> no, don't do it, bro. I didn't straight up. <laughs> like, I saw. Muffins literally get so fucking fat on the bulk, like, buddy. You know you're, you're right. like when you get that fat, you literally are like, it's harder to build muscle, bro. Like you're actually like fucking and, yourself. And uh, <laughs> they'd be the first motherfuckers to be like, you're not. Fucking naughty because you, in order to do a true bulk, you have to get fucking fat. There's no way to put on muscle without getting fat. No, I think you just got fat and now you're fucking, uh, you're trying to cope with it. Yeah. Fucking idiot. <laughs> Me right now. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Like, I just feel like if I shaved, I'd look like shit. <laughs> like, I 
like I'm literally just so. I don't know, bro. I gotta show you a pic. I gotta show you a pic from. In, uh, yeah, but I'm too. I'm two years ago today. Yeah, I know, but I'm too tense right now, bro. Like it's shit. not. It's gonna upset me right now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Here we go today. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Somebody had a sock on their back from like Monsters Inc. <laughs> <laughs> happening I can't believe it all right so earlier me and Steph and Gabe had a shoot that's what me and Steph were on the way to during the daytime we got that completed and we ate some Chick-fil-a because I don't know bro we were just I don't know what happened we just smell well, one thing leads to another and then boom you're eating shit that's you're giving you're eating cancerous food that tastes really good Into the night, I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through, it's true, baby let the light shine through, if you believe it's true, baby won't you let the light shine through, for you. Into the night, I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through, it's true, baby let the light shine through, if you believe it's true, baby won't you let the light shine through.
Come on. We're growing tonight, baby. Come on. Come on, Gabe. Come on, baby. Yeah. Deutschington Mc McFlurry. I don't. I don't look. You don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> you don't like it. No, no, no. I just no. I, I'm saying like if I had a gun to my head, bro, and I said like what is a better like thing on his face, I'd say, bro, you a shave, bro. I've been telling him like, man, you handsome ass motherfucker. I don't know. They were saying that shit was really handsome. <laughs> <laughs> Like, damn, bro, it's not that bad, is it? Like, it's not even that bad, bro. I'm just saying, like, if, if I, yeah. I'm like, if I'm gonna take Lex shaven or fucking Lex fucking not shaven, I think, I, just, I, I think, I think, I think they got used to I think, I think they're used to me being me, and then I switched it up, and I'm like, yeah. like, who's this hoss? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, it's already, it'll be already in this video by now. Yeah, those clips of us posing, bro, like, Lex kept, Lex was hitting this thing, and he looked like <laughs> huge, like, bro had his, like, traps and, like, his chest, bro, looked insane, but it just looked like bro was, like, 35, because he, like, had <laughs> Shit. And me and Gabe were just like two kids that were like posing with the old like big dude at the gym. <laughs> Versus like, yeah, Hoss. Like, <laughs> maybe that's why I like it. Cause I feel like you're older than me. Oh shit. Yeah, bro. Cause right, you're just a baby boy when you're shaved face, and I feel like older. Uncle Unc was trying to teach us a few things. Y'all ever hit the most muscular? He's like, check this. Um, this is shoulders, but but off, but up and down. Yeah, huh? <laughs> yeah, huh? Alright, huh? Yeah, whatever you say, huh? 